Welcome to Fuji Electric's training module. In this video, we will talk about contactors. A contactor is a device that opens and closes a circuit, usually for motor control. The contactor is sometimes paired with a thermal overload relay. An overload relay doesn't have an operating voltage. It only feeds off the contactor. It sends a signal to the contactor when an overload condition occurs. A motor starter is what we call a contactor and an overload relay together. Here's a picture of what a reversing contactor and a reversing motor starter look like. A reversing contactor is made up of two contactors and a mechanical interlock, while a reversing motor starter is made up of two contactors, one thermal overload relay, and one mechanical interlock. Now, let's look at Fuji Electric's current contactor series. We have the Orange Line, the Odyssey series, the SCE series, and the SK series. For more information on our contactor series, please visit our website at americas.fujielectric.com and click on Distribution and Control. Once there, please click on Support page. Under our Catalog section, you will see our product catalogs. Under Contactors, Motor Starters, and Industrial Relays, you will see our Orange Line Odyssey SC Series Catalog link to download our current USAH-105H Contactor Catalog. We have two Contactor Catalogs. The Orange Line and Odyssey series are in the USAH-105H catalog, or the Orange catalog. The SCE series is in the USEH-530D catalog, or the Blue catalog. The Orange Line and Odyssey series come with auxiliary contacts as standard and are used for general purposes or for replacement. The SCE series is used with another device to make a combination starter or for a new OEM product. The SK series is located in the USEH-530D catalog. The SK series contactors come with auxiliary contacts as standard and are for general purpose use or replacement. These contactors are ideal for small motor applications and come with a small footprint. Select contactors are fitted with our super magnet coils. These coils are Fuji Electric's original technology and are used for AC or DC coil operations. With a super magnet coil, there is no unstable zone where chattering and contact welding occurs. The super magnet coils are available for the Odyssey series and SCE series. Standard type contactors from SC-N5 to SC-N16 are provided with surge suppression units. Now, let's look at the part number system for the contactors. The Orange Line and Odyssey series follow the same structure for their part numbers. It begins with the product line cone, followed by the coil operating type, description type of contactor, frame size, frame enclosure, coil voltage, and the auxiliary contact arrangement. The quantity of auxiliary contacts will depend on the frame size of the contactors. We also listed the Fuji type number equivalent to the US part number, as this is the part number seen first on the label. The part number system is located at the bottom of each page for each contactor category. The thermal overload relays for our Orange Line and Odyssey series follow the same structure. The product line, style, enclosure, frame size, and ampere range code. The orange line is located on page 16 of the catalog, while the Odyssey series is located on page 30. The SCE series part number system is much simpler. It starts with the product category, frame size, coil operating type, and the coil voltage. This is located on page 35 of the blue catalog. The thermal overload relay structure starts with the product category, frame size, and the ampere range. This one is located on page 46. 
The SK series part number system falls in between in difficulty. The part number system starts with the basic type number, frame size, operating method, auxiliary contact, non-reversing or reversing type, coil voltage code, auxiliary contact arrangement, and if chosen as a reversing model, the reversing conductor. Meanwhile, the overload relay starts with the basic type number, frame size, mounting, reset method, and the ampere setting range. This information can be located in the catalog USEH530D or the blue catalog on page 52 and 66. Now let's look at the part number locations on the labels for the contactors and overload relays. The US part numbers are located here and here. The ampere range is located here on the side label and can be found on the yellow dial in the front. You can locate the coil terminals and the coil voltage on the top of the contactor. Once you locate the coil voltage, please go to the catalog and find the appropriate code. You can also locate the auxiliary contact arrangement in the front of the contactor. Here are our guidelines in selecting the appropriate contactor and motor starter. First, check the load and application. For motors, check the horsepower rating, and for resistance loads, check the rated thermal current. Next, check the full load ampere of the motor. This will determine the ampere range needed for the overload relay. Next, specify the coil voltage, AC or DC, and how many auxiliary contacts you will need. Lastly, will you need accessories for your application? We have auxiliary contact blocks, surge suppression units, and terminal covers as well as many others. Hopefully this will help you in choosing the parts you need.